Well, we talked about it at the conference overall. We talked about stability. We talked about making sure that the third world, the, uh, excuse me, the third world, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 What's up, everybody? This is the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama. Nah, I'm only fooling. It is I, the Robozoid, your semi-likable, tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves. And, well, uh, instead of visiting the 9-11 Memorial or going to what is now the New World Trade Center in New York City, uh, Biden chose to go over to Vietnam uh, of course, he had, did dash over to Alaska first, but we're talking about Vietnam here. Why did he do it? Well, probably just to make some boring, tepid, incoherent speech that, again, would make him look weak on the world stage and makes us, in turn, look weak on the world stage. That's today's secret word, boys and girls. Weak. So you know what to do whenever anyone says the secret word, right? scream real loud. So, okay, here's what happened. Um, Biden goes to Vietnam to talk about the whole blah, 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 and to do with Vietnam, the war and all that crap. And it's hard to follow any of it from what he's saying. Just take a little listen for yourself and also look at this footage of him being escorted alongside John Carr. All right, here we go. You have been warned. Well, we talked about it at the conference overall. We talked about stability. We talked about making sure that the third world, the, uh, excuse me, the third world, the, uh, the, the, uh, the southern hemisphere had access to change. It had access. We, it wasn't confrontational at all. You, you see Thanks, how everybody. he's slipping? Press conference. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know where the jazz music's coming from. They cut off his mic, too. Yep, there he goes, walking off. Let's see where he gets confused now. I see John Curry is with him. My, my brother loves having these famous lines and movies that he always quotes. You know, and one, one of them is there was, there was a movie about John Wayne as an Indian scout. And they are trying to get, I think it was Apache, one of the great tribes of America, back on the reservation. And he's standing with the unit, so he's a role. Eh? I need to buy a vowel, Pat. The soldier basically the same days. Come with me, we'll take care of the movie, everything will be good. And the Indian scout, the Indian looks at John Wayne and points to the Union soldier and says, he's a lion dog faced pony soldier. See, even though he's mumbling gibberish, I think I know what movie he's talking about. I believe he is referring to the great John Wayne movie, McClintock. I believe he played an Indian sergeant in that. There was a lot of lying dog face pony stories out there about, about global warming. Oh, you know, God. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's and Yeah, sure. People who actually believe in global warming are all lying dog face pony soldiers. The only difference is, they're not the dog faces. You think the military gives one real shit about global warming? Huh, come on. It actually gets even worse from there. At one point, I think he talks about, uh, at one point he just yammers about nothing, which is kind of his style, I guess. And uh, a little later on, we'll see that he screws up the title of a song, confusing it with a movie. Or is it the other way around? With Biden, you can never tell. But you're going to notice how this confused, sad old creature ducks questions, looks down, uh, walks off, just does whatever the hell 
he wants to do because he just doesn't have a clue what the hell's going on around him or who's asking him a simple question. <laughs> Never mind the fact that he can't even answer one. Is it any wonder this dumbass's poll numbers are in the toilet? The United States warned that if there is no phasing out of fossil fuels, it won't be possible to reach the goals of the Paris Agreement. There was no agreement at the G20. Did he take the mic with him? How concerned are you about this lack of consensus? Why is so much of agreement that we've been trying to be... Thank God Creepy Joe was never a contestant on a game show. It would not have ended well for him. You know something? I wonder if I should use that footage in my next quickie vid. Oh well, we'll see. Only time will tell. Yeah, usually that time is the end of the week. You know, there's that... One of my staff members said, remember the famous song, you know, Good morning, Vietnam. Well, good evening, Vietnam. Actually, Joey, Good Morning, Vietnam is not a song. It is a movie, and a very good one starring the late Robin Williams. Actually, I would say, if anything, it's Good Evening, Biden's Brain, wherever it is. Oh, speaking of which... He actually ended his speech by saying, Good night, I need to go to bed. I'm serious. Just take a listen to this. Anybody ever see Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Because I'm beginning to believe that Biden is really an alien, uh, a really retarded alien, who packaged himself in a rather benign old man human form. That's, that's what I think. I don't, uh, anyway... I just think that there are other things on leaders' minds, and they respond to what's needed at the time. And look, nobody likes having celebrated international meetings mm. if you don't know what you want at the meeting. Mm. If you don't have a game plan. He may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Joe Biden. And to think the liberals used to make fun of Reagan back in the 80s for always taking naps. Yeah, and yet no Republican has the, has the cojones to actually make fun of Biden for his constant need for Zs. Uh, I really wish there was a parody of Adam Sandler's lunch lady land called Sleepy Joe. It would probably go something like this. Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe, Sleep, Sleepy Joe. Yeah, probably something like that. Because this guy, he's not all there, folks. He's not all there. And once again, it seems like this is another case of the Democrats committing elder abuse. Or rather, let's just put all the blame on Jill. Because she seems to be the one propping him up. Let's face it. She's really the president, not him. Well, this has been the Robozoid saying, that's my two cents worth on Sleepy Joe and his ridiculous, tepid, boring, from here to there speech about well, really nothing when he should have been at ground zero on 9-11. On but he wasn't. Of course not. He was the same guy who back on that day said, let's not rush to judgment. Well, never mind. This guy clearly is too out of it to understand that wokeness is weakness. And also, let's face it, this guy does not hear the power of our voices. He can't hear our voices because he can only hear himself mumble off or nod off to sleep. So therefore, he's not going to know anything about power to the people and as far as power to the music in the streets goes, <laughs> that waved bye-bye to him a long time ago. So remember to smash that like button. Remember to subscribe. It's good for you. It's good for me. It helps the channel along. And it, it helps me to do better and push harder and work faster. Sorry, I went away for a while, but now I'm back. Well... I'll see you all in the next video. I'm thinking I may have to do a quickie out of that one.